How's everyone doing today? <laughs> I'm a little sleepy. Taking my hand brace off, getting ready to draw. I'm glad to hear it. Today, I'll be working on probably just one commission. I'm not going to be streaming super late tonight, like usual. Um, I'm leaving you clean box. Um, I'm going to be watching a movie with a friend later tonight, so I'll be ducking out. Probably around dinner time. Yes, Sherman. Sherman, what's the matter? What? What, buddy? Come here. Sherman's complaining about something. Okay, let's switch to the other screen so you guys can see the bullshit I'm drawing. So, a dear commissioner asked me to just, uh, redraw the Curse of Strahd cover in my style, and I'm like, absolutely, absolutely, I would love to. <laughs> What's that? You're asking me to, asking me to draw one of my favorite vampires? Am I if I do? So that's exactly what we'll be doing today. I am currently in a Curse of Strong campaign. It's my first DD game, it's still going. We've had a uh, lot of schedule hiccups this year, but it's, it's still going. Yes, it is. We have had a embarrassingly small amount of games this year because of all of our weird schedule problems. But it's still going. Currently, if, uh, currently in game, our characters are canonically in a pocket dimension containing Disney World. I will not elaborate, but we are currently in Disney World. It's going to be a one-shot, but it's going to end up being like a four-shot. Straw who? We're after Mickey Mouse. Yes, indeed, I'm playing Coyote. Here, I'll show it to you. Good. 
possess Coyote's current appearance. I, Sherman. Oh, the boys are fighting! Hey, 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 stop it. No violence. Yeah, here's Coyote. Um, he was, he did start out the campaign looking like this. Hold on. Um, he had an Ugatoa parasite stuck to him, and through divine intervention, he was freed of the parasite. Um, so now he's an Asimar. So, fun stuff. Ah, the sun is shining through my window at an angle where it's bouncing off of my tablet and into my eyes. Okay. Yeah, best to uh, play it safe. And stretch. Ugacho <laughs> Parasite Coyote was my first attempt at a DD character. So, because he was my first, like, like, step into the platform. Uh, I didn't really know how to stat build or anything, uh, so he kind of sucked really bad. Uh, but thankfully, after his instance of divine intervention, I was uh, able to completely redo him. He got a new race, new class, do everything. His stats remain the same, but I was able to switch a couple of them around, or his stat rules remain the same. Um, 
because it's, it's definitely rough starting at a game, figuring out how it works, and then realizing you've made the worst thing possible. So God bless my DM for allowing the opportunity for the fix, because uh, there was a chance that um, instead of Coyote getting died in Adventure, he could just fucking die. It was all up to dice rolls. And luckily, he did not die. I didn't have my backup character ready to go if he did. Um, the backup character is also stat built way better. internal party drama with the existing Curse of Strahd campaign and three players had to leave because of it. Um, those three players sucked, by the way. Uh, they were bad. So, three new people were being brought in to uh, fill in the vacated spots. And um, my brother is part of this campaign, so he was like, hey, hey, can I infect you with d d disease and get you in my campaign? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <coughs> Granted, I want to say... One second. <coughs> oh. People have been trying to get me to play D&D for years before then. Because um, they correctly assumed it's something I would like. Um, and... <laughs> I, whenever there's something I know I would like, but I'm not currently into it, I tend to not let myself get into it because I have mental illness, and if I get into something, I get into something a little too hard, and I end up spending money on that new thing, and it envelops my entire mind, and it's very overwhelming. So I just stare at d d from a safe distance like it can't hurt me if I'm not there. But... <laughs> Then I moved in with my brother and his wife, who both play D&D together. Um, and I'm like, well, I guess if I'm living in a house with people who are going to be frequently playing D&D, I might as well give it a shot. And that was the devil talking. That was the devil talking. Because now I have this bitch. Now I have this stinky vampire man staring at me at all hours of the day. Take him. But also, I love him in my 30 Strahd minis that sit on my desk right now. Yeah, I had um, my brother and the DM help me a lot with figuring things out. They helped my head through the whole thing, they were very kind. And patient. Um, there's, of course, learning experiences along the way while playing. Uh, hello, hand, I did not raise you. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, my, um, I joined in mid campaign, so there's quite a bit of Curse of stuff that I didn't get to touch. But that's okay. Just makes it all the more unique.
the sunlight is relentless. I'm wearing white pajama pants, and that's just making it even brighter while it's bouncing off the fabric. I'm gonna go blind. I don't think I have, um, if you mean, like, Barovia, the town, I don't think I've even been there yet, because I came in to the campaign after they passed through that town already. But if you mean, like, um, Valaki, if you mean Valaki and the, um, Nice man with a cart who has things for sale and offers you a ride. We do know that guy. <laughs> I know him, that son of a bitch. talk for miles about my game too, but I'm not going to, because I have some amount of self-control. <laughs> Just a little. There was one moment in combat where me and my brother's characters, we both rolled max 20s on an opportunity attack in the same turn, and then we both rolled the same amount of damage, and I was like, whoa. skin directly, it's bouncing off of my white pants into my face, and I think I'm gonna burn. <laughs> It'd be like that. Um, my, my 
first subscribe DM is like my best friend, and we have um, a bunch of role plays we do together, and um, a couple of which are like D and D setting role plays. So even though I've only played two D and D games, um, I've technically made like almost every single class multiple times over for roleplay purposes, so that's a good way to practice outside of actual games. There's less pressure to not fuck up. from him, um, he should have been a warlock monk, because I, I wanted him to be, like, more hands-on combat, but I, I didn't do that, because I didn't understand. So, maybe someday I'll redo that theming for something else. Because I know how to do it better. Side to be conditioned to draw one of your favorite characters is that, at least in my case, I'm gonna fuss over the details way too much. Like, everything in this face area is gonna get way too much attention from me to the point of taking like three times as long as a commission normally would. Downside, it's not the worst thing, it's just frustrating for workflow. You're valid. You gotta jump. Exclamation point jump. Here. Oh, here we go. Whee! Oh, 
crazy, you're not stupid. Jump, 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 jump. Yes. Consume. Is that so bad? I might also be this angle of his face that I'm drawing him at that's messing with my brain a little bit. He'd be like, uh, it, it looks slightly off. Why does it look slightly off? And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I think I can see one thing I did differently, but I'm gonna fix. I used to draw his hair like, not like this. Me looking at my two-year-old straw art like, well, how did I do that? How did I make you? The answer is mostly the coloring, in the case of his hair. Hi, sir. Hey, buddy. You getting comfy? We're getting closer. Hell yeah. Vampire theme, as in you guys are vampires or you're fighting vampires or both. Thank you. 
Dracula's party! <clears throat> Give him a kiss for me. My friend Kendrade is drawing... Um... A piece of Dracula in it. And he said, like a work in progress picture earlier this morning. And it's like, um, it's Bella Lugosi Dracula, so I'm like, you can't do this to me. You know how I feel about him. I'm gonna go crazy, I'm gonna go stupid. Mm, nice. Take a little stretch break. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh. I need to watch the new Castlevania. Anytime a show I like on Netflix comes out, I can't ever just watch it the day it comes out because the mental stress of having to binge it stresses me out. I wish they did one episode at a time. My hand tracking doesn't know what I'm doing. I'm stretching. stress that comes with, if you don't binge it, somebody's gonna spoil it for you. Cause they binged it and you were too slow, so fuck you. Yeah, so wait, right now I'm just like mentally checking out of anything Castlevania related on the internet so I don't pay too much attention to it. Um, I'll watch it eventually. It's like I did, I did love the last Castlevania show a lot. I just don't like the drop every episode at once model Netflix has. time I draw Strahd's hair. In my brain I'm like, ooh, Morio. What's your hair care treatment? Routine. Human blood? Perfect. I'll say one funny story from my Strahd campaign. Um, we were being carted from one town to another by um, 
the guy that turns out to be straw in disguise, but we didn't know yet. Uh, <laughs> and during the ride, we were just like role playing chit chat. And, um, Kyrie, at the time when he had the parasite problem, had this thing where if he didn't eat fish constantly, he would get a fever and feel sick because he needs to have fish to sustain his parasite. Um, so he was having a moment where he felt feverish, so he took his shirt off. And, um, let me show you. Where is it? There it is. He has a, um, massive, whoops, a massive back tattoo of Dracula. Um, but because of the parasite, some of it's been removed. So, um, one of the characters was like, what's Uva? Because that's all you can read. And then after some prodding, Kaede explains, Dracula is a fictional vampire that he really likes. Like, he's obsessed with it. And he's saying all this shit out loud. In front of Strahd. <laughs> And the guy's like, ha ha, that's so funny, that's so, so quirky of you. And then he shows up, he reveals his identity later as straw. And kind of is like, oh, I just embarrassed myself so bad. I just embarrassed myself so fucking bad. I just said to off-brand Dracula how much I want to suck his dick without knowing it was off-brand Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Such a cringe gr girl failure. <laughs> I was dying of embarrassment after that. <laughs> he did not tell me about squat. Squirt, the funnier part about that embarrassing incident is the moment Strahd revealed himself, we went into combat, and Coyote immediately got charmed. He was the only one to, like, fail that roll so badly. I think I not won on that roll, and I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. It was really bad. What a way to go out. Where did I put the heart of the finger? Did I even sketch it properly? I don't think that I did. I need to find out if any of the Castlevania game soundtracks are safe to play on stream. Because sometimes game soundtracks 
do get dinged by copyright, but some don't, some do, and it's just a matter of finding out, and I don't always like finding out. Oh, that's so disrespectful. <laughs> that sucks. Rip to a real one. Tell me about it, Dogfish. Man, that's... Claypots, that sucks. I feel like that's something that they should have just been able to do without having to roll. Because it's their job. I feel like if that had happened to me, I would have been really bitter about it. Because it's like, if it's not... If it's not detrimental to the plot, or combat, but it's like, just a nice thing to send off a character, you should just be able to do it. I'm glad it was a nicer situation for you. is not witnessing those horrible sounds, though. Hey, Junior, go outside and play so you don't bear witness to this. <laughs> to symmetry tool in wine cup. I do need to symmetry tool in wine cup.
<laughs> Did you enjoy your act of violence? <laughs> I also have a bonk one. Try that out. Bonk. Bonk. Did you say bonk? No, captions can't say bonk. 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 Oh, I got it that one. Oh! Oh, it missed! But I still got flattened. What the fuck? Hold on, let me try that again. Why did it go all the way over there? There we go. I have no idea why it spawned all the way over there. Symmetry tool is my best friend. We got five demon sex dreams. Hydrate and stretch. Make my hand tracking go insane. Getting there. 
It's a good thing my model doesn't have, like, really good face tracking. I mean, his face is like a helmet, so it doesn't really move. But if I had a model that had AR kit tracking on the face, you would just see my mouth hanging open the entire time I'm drawing. That's like my default. Some people, like, stick their tongue out. My mouth just hangs open. topics. Um, I haven't drawn NSFW stuff in like a crazy long time, and I'm not exactly sure why. Part of it may actually be because I'm on an SSRI. <laughs> I have anxiety meds, and um, that people aren't like making it up when they say that those things lower your sex drive. I've just not been interested in anything horny at all. And I'm like, wow, that's really weird. And then I realize I'm medicated and I'm like, oh. something nasty again someday. I was considering opening um, NSW conditions at some point, but um, that was when commission slots weren't selling very quickly. Um, so I think I don't have the urge to do that anymore. Right now at least. Which is also a shame, because usually if I draw, like, a hot monster character like the bull, I immediately desire what their cock looks like. And I've not done that for bull yet, which seems like a crime. In my mind, I know what it looks like, I just haven't taken the 30 minutes to try. I'm surprised I haven't either. Maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do a thing where if I get enough followers, I'll post Bull's cock in my server. It's a very interesting brain space to be like, oh, I kind of miss that, but I also don't desire it. <laughs>
tree of 20 pots. Very true. Um, <laughs> fun fact, the, um, can I, okay, the top left image over there that's cropped off, that is, that entire image is porn. Um, it is cropped for very good reasons. <laughs> Yeah, it's not very subtle when his faults hits out. <laughs> down in my absence. I'm watching y'all. I'm trusting y'all.
So I'm going to chill here for a second while I eat it. You can just stare at his stupid face. Strawberry flavor fruit strip. It's very good. Also stretch. Everyone should stretch. Stretch and hydrate. Sleepy. I love being neurodivergent and coffee not working on me like it should. Okay, what's going on with this outfit? I can't tell if the vest chops into his pants or goes over it. Huh. He goes over it. Hard to tell at that angle. of critters grows by the minute. Look at you all. Critters no more. Oh, I was catching back. Did 
any time. <sighs> All right. You are being absorbed into the room. Prophet! I cannot hear you. And there he goes. <laughs> and then you're back. And there he goes. <laughs> and he's back. Hi. Okay. I can hear you now. I sick. Yeah, I was uh, I was on a call with with Indrid, <laughs> real like because they wanted to show like wanted me to hear how rainy it was because yeah. it was like boring, and then I tried to jump into it, the stream while on call with them like because we were doing it through Facetime and uh, Discord was like nah, not having that. Of course not. If Indrid wants to come on, I can give him the collateral. Oh yeah, hold on. You let him know. taking a little bit of a break because Sherman just jumped into my lap and he's laying on my tablet, so it's Sherman time. Hey, buddy. I'm my sweet angel. How's your day going, Corey? Um, it could be going better. Uh, so Vivant has become a, a generic brand, um, and so everywhere is out of it because of, like, that going on. It'll leave it out. Yeah, so I am unmedicated right now. Right. Yay. Any estimation on when you'll get it? Get more? Nope. Yeah. Nope. Would you like some demon Sherman first to hear your heal your soul? Sure. Yes. Powerful. Yes. My sweet boy. My sweet boy who's standing me from work <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can... You almost knocked my tablet onto the ground. Sure. You don't do that. Sure. You can't just lay on my tablet, I need to work. If I say that, if he gets further onto my tablet. Mm -hmm. Come here, sir. Can you sit on my shoulders instead? Come on. Sit up here. Good boy. Good boy. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, wait, I think it's more up. Hold on, I'm trying to get 
trying to find something. Yeah. He just wants to be in my lap. Um, the tablet is on my lap, so Sherman sits on it. <laughs> He's like, this can, we can make this work. Yeah. This is in the way of me and your lap. How dare you? Oh boy, my lights are flickering. Uh-oh. That's not ideal. Oh my god, where is My hand's Did... freaking out. Oh, I'm trying to remember oh. if... Oops, no, no. What's up? I'm trying to find something. I was like, I can't remember if you saved it or if I saved it, but I know it's in the the the, the DM with you. It is just a hell of a ways back here. Because when you were first becoming obsessed with Strahd was like back in 2021. Oh, what? Uh, what DMing content are you trying to find? I'm trying to find the thing I made where it's um, the like I hate anime, but I oh. edited it where it was I hate Strahd. <laughs> I might have saved it. I did not. I said that. Okay. What? What? Ginger! She's making noises at me. Because you're talking. No, because I have snack. Because I have a snack and she wants some. Oh, she's jealous of snack. But it has chocolate in it, so baby can't have any. Forbidden. Forbidden snack. For real. What size do I work with? Um, here. Yeah, I haven't done the art tutorial stream yet. <laughs> um, because one, commissions, and two, I'm still coming down from sickness, so I don't want to be constantly coughing into the mic while I'm giving advice. Um, but for for um, my canvas size, it's pretty big. And it's like a stupid number of on. Oh, Taking a can't... screenshot of it because uh, you can't see the tiny pop up windows on stream. Um, this is my general resolution. Um, I... So, it, that is a very strange number to have, and I do it for a very strange reason. So, um, I'll explain. If I open a new canvas, the edges, you can't see it because I cropped off the UI, but the corners of the canvas fit perfectly inside the UI area. So I do it for, like, obsessive reasons to keep it perfectly shaped on my screen so there's not any dead space around it. And yes, it is big. Here, I'll zoom in on Strahd all the way here. There you go, know, he's a big boy.
Alright, I gotta give this group the roll. There you are! Alright, let me get you a, a Fuji Tech link. <laughs> Welcome to stream, dear friend. Hi! Hey, everyone. This is my beautiful boyfriend, Indrid. Yes. <laughs> Corey. Right, let me... Hi, Hello. I am a really beautiful boyfriend. <laughs> Copy and new. So this takes a hot second because I can't read. It's okay. There you are. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh, geez, I'm gonna have to draw myself a little icon now, aren't I? <laughs> if you wanna. Otherwise, you can just change your uh, Discord icon and it will update. Right. Yeah, sorry. For now, everyone's just gonna have to stare at Momoteros. <laughs> like, that's such a bad thing. True. No, I can't find the. I hate Strahd. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no. Wait, it might be on my Twitter. Hold on. <laughs> it might be. That might be where it is. Going it's been going pretty good. I just got back from classes. Nice. How's but, that going? Uh -oh. oh, actually, it's going pretty easy. But like today, while I was leaving, there was like a freak thunderstorm out of nowhere. So like I almost got stuck uh, in like a bunch of like flooded streets because like I live in a really bad area of town. <laughs> there it is. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, put it on screen. Yeah. <laughs> the song of acceptance. <laughs> Me looking at my, like, 30 strong miniatures in baggies on my desk. Oh my god. The little framed picture of Shaw that I have as well. <laughs> my free printed Strahd castle on the wall. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we can tell. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Love hate relationships are the most complicated. Yeah. Truly. Makes an entire self insert to pair with him. He's your special little princess, but you will also hit him with a chair. Yeah. <laughs> My poor little meow meow who has done everything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 
and has no redeemable qualities. No, his redeemable qualities is he's sexy, that's it. <laughs> Truly. Redeemable quality, nice cock. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Cree were here to give the nice cock sound effect. I'm not in the server, he has that in. Nice cock. Nice cock. <laughs> in the Wii Sports Bowling sound effect. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You should not give yourself in the face with your tail, honey. Horrible. When I first started this condition, um, I, I had like a really tired Tuesday and Wednesday. On Tuesday, I did the lines for most of his face, and that was all I could muster for that day because I was exhausted. But, um, for a long time, I just stared at the canvas and at his face just thinking, fuck you. <laughs> oh, God, I feel that. Like, Corey can tell you for the past couple days, I've been trying to draw, but everything has been coming out like shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried to draw the other day, too, when I was taking my vacation, and I was like, this isn't happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like now that I'm in class, it's just draining the energy from me. Ow! Yeah, Ow, your claws are sharp! Ow! Oh, oh god. I'm mauling. She's stretching and her paws are on my foot and like her little her little claws are Ow. Rip Corey oh, no. Rip. Also, um, uh, those Fritz doodles I sent y'all last night mm -hmm. are technically spoilers, um, so nice. I won't describe them in detail, but I will say it took me, like, 50 tries to draw it. Oh, God, yeah, I, I feel that. It was, like, one in the it morning when I started, and I was <laughs> like, I need to, I need to draw my little scrubbly. I need to draw them. Um, and it took too many tries. Hold on, let me see if I can show you some of them once before it. Secretly. I mean, like, they came out good, though. I, yeah. I'm glad you think so, because I'm already staring at them like, I need to redo it again. No! no. You're fine. The proportions of their eyes are fucking with me. We've all been affected by whatever the hell is going on. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here's some of the fail doodles I did where I just stopped before even giving them hair, so they just look like fucked up ball eggs. I sent it in our uh, private DMs because, again, they're spoilers. Mm. <clears throat> uh. The one at the top right's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, he's so creature. <laughs> You're so creature. <laughs> creature intensifier. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, the one. The one at like the top right is literally just like autism scare creature. Yes. <laughs> they are autism creature to the max. Love that for them. Oh, I've I'm like torn between Fritz hyperfixation and Digimon right now. Um because they kind of overlap since I kind of also made Fritz into a Digimon OC. Uh, but, um, I was, like, desperately trying to draw them last night because I got into a playlist hyperfixation. Mm -hmm. And I gave them 15 more songs on their playlist, and I'm like, I have to listen to these on repeat, and the only thing I'm going to do while I do that is draw. So mm -hmm. I'm just frantically drawing on fumes. Oh my god, yeah, I've been, been there. Yeah. Like, literally, every time I make, like, a new playlist for an OC, I just have that shit, like, on repeat. Yep. Yep. I would be listening to it right now if it was not filled with copyrightable songs. <laughs> 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 
One of these days, I'm just gonna be playing the stream without music, so that I can listen to my music. Understandable and fair. Hold on, Ginger, I'm coming, hold on. Ginger. Which, which I get paid tonight, by the way, so I will be, uh... I think I've sort of figured out who I want to pay you to Digimonify. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> it's the autism creature. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that broke my captions. Yeah. That horrible sound in my captions. It broke my <laughs> eardrums too. Yeah, your, your captions aren't there anymore. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> the captures heard that sound and took off running. <laughs> They're like, nah, fuck, fuck, it, fuck that man, I'm, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try with that. Hi, Shirley. Me too. What's up, buddy? Shirley. Yeah. Baby. Good boy. I left my shirt ahead. <laughs> we can see, see that you're petting him on the <laughs> screen. Uh, this time it was uh, popping my hands. Sherman's on the uh, floor. Ah, uh, it looked but like it, you were petting him on your lap. Yeah, up here I'll put my hands in, but I'm not holding a petting Sherman position. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Morphe's on my shoulder. <laughs> no, chill out. <laughs> it's I need to put Garfield onto the other shoulder because that's usually where he sits. <laughs> yeah, your um, your uh, eye, hand, and face tracker were like, don't cross the streams. <laughs> Did I show you that my shoulder's broken in on my model? Um, I think so. No. Indra hasn't seen it. Hold on, let me rotate myself so you can see it worse. Oh, jeez. Where did it go? Oh! Yeah. Oh, that's normal, actually. <laughs> yep, completely fine and normal. Let me just do for, that. For my uh, entire shoulder blade to disappear. Whoa! Yeah, this is a new problem, too. And it, like, I thought it was because I updated. Uh, well, well, uh, more updated my model a tiny bit, uh, to make it to where the fire doesn't spawn into my face too much. Um, mm. I thought it was something wrong with the model itself, but it is not. It is something with Vegan, and I don't know what it was because I did not touch any of my settings. Mm. So I'm like, okay. I guess I just have a broken shoulder. <laughs> yes. no, oh god. No dabbing without consequences. <laughs> if you just like move your arm in like a normal position, you just hear like this horrifying bone crack. Yeah. Like you move your arm and just stop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh, wait a second, I have to pop my knuckles, I may as well make use of this. I can mention her, who has gifted me with the honor of drawing Shrod. Um, I can take artistic liberties on the outfit. Okay, you know what, thanks, because I, 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 I'm going to stick as close to it as I can, because I like how it looks. But, um, around his belt section, I don't know if his vest tucks into his pants or goes over it, so I was just going to guess. Because the reference picture behind my fire here has his, like, wig on his knee crossed over. So I can't see his belt section and I'm like, can I have a fucking reference? Can I have a fucking reference? No! Thank you so very much. I hope class is easy for you today. He is doing that on purpose. Strahd never makes my legs easier. I love it when my commissioners pop in the stream. Hey, 
Corey, have you seen my new redeems yet? I have not. <laughs> should try, should try well. Get up here. Come on. Come on, puppy. Get up here. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, hi, Ginger. Ginger. Gingy. Ginger. All over the place. She's like, she's like, um, are you getting ready to snuggle? Because I, I can snuggle. <laughs> snuggle uh -huh. now. She gets to decide snuggle time. Yeah, so, so I may hang up to take a nap with her because she's looking at me like, um, why aren't we snuggling? Before you go, you need to look at my new redeems. Yes. Here, I'll do them for you. Oh yeah, I think you showed me that one. <laughs> Thank you so very much <laughs> for this gift! Goodness. Oh, my, fir my first organic. Thank you so very much for this gift, Rudy. Thank you for the, the gift that gets your sub. I got, I got Ice Debbie Mod jump scare. That's my favorite kind of jump scare. Alright, that was the Bonk Redeem. Here's the other one. Oh yeah, I do remember this one, yes. Watch oh this. yeah. <laughs> Your face is... <laughs> um, something went very wrong when Laura was coding. Uh, me getting flattened, and if I turn my head after being flattened that way, it just goes insane. And we oh, both no. decided to keep it. <laughs> Nice. It, it is much funnier that way. It is much funnier, because I can just look at the camera and then I just go boom! <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm, I'm going to zoom out on that, because when, when I'm laying on the ground, my fire spews everywhere like I'm spraying blood. <laughs> oh my god. Get squarked, right. idiot. Well, it's on a cool down. I got a few seconds. Alright, watch this. <laughs> oh, it is. No. It's exploding! Oh, oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> Just totally obliterated. Just get exploded immediately. You exploded into smithereens. Yep. To shreds, you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cora, if you got a map, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. And I know Indrid's got a nap too, because he, he's sleepy from the rain. Yeah. It, it, I am kind of fighting sleep right now. Yeah, girl, go get, go get your, your sleeps. Yeah, but I will. <laughs> thank y'all for coming in. No Bye. Bye. It's fun. Yeah. We should do this again more. Yeah. yeah you're always welcome. I, I, I will try. Yeah, you have the roll now, so you have that yeah. key to get into the door. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. yeah. Sleep. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, sure, man. You're so pretty. You're such a sweet old boy. I'm going to be streaming for maybe another hour or two um, until I have to go figure out dinner. I have a movie night with a friend tonight. So I can't stream super late, cause I'll be busy! I'll be busy!
I hope everybody is having a decent Thursday. of like there What do you see with this being a waste of commission as I have nowhere to cut the chair off? <laughs> I'm wrapping my brain around it. Symmetry tool. 
this big fucking chair, and I'll get to cropping it off later. Can I pick you up? Can I pick you up? Come here. Come here. Ah, I got you. I have baby boy. Baby boy to me. Free free baby.
Ele me ensina. Ele me ensina. Looking at Strahd's throne, like, there's no way I can recreate that in any reasonable amount of detail, and now I'm here putting probably too much detail into it. But that's okay. Sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta.
looks like. Dear friend of the stream, Lord Dragon has also started streaming. And since I'm not going to be going late, I might actually be able to read into him for the first time. Joe, are you gonna snap the sure? No. Yes, no. Hey, getting comfy on my bed. I'm just gonna finish Strahd's waste area. His hips. Oh, I'm so insensible.
Welcome back. This waste area is giving me struggles. I don't exactly know how this patch is supposed to work. I have a guess about the belt. <coughs> That's a okay, bamboo, so it's gonna be obscured in shadows anyway.
I made a mistake. I transformed him without transforming his eyes. Can I salvage? I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think we're fine. It's okay. Hydrate! Okay. Hydrate here. Not a PNG tuber. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The commissioner asked me to redraw this cover art of Strahd in my style. So that's what I'm doing.
honestly thrilled. I love my horrible, horrible vampire man. <coughs> I don't know what color I used for his claws. There we go. My Thursday is decent. And thank you. How's your Thursday going? I'm probably gonna wrap up stream here in a little bit so I can make dinner. Oh, I've got a movie night with a friend. So I can't stay streaming for too long. I wanna see if I can finish this tonight, but I might finish it off stream.
get this man. Thank him so much. zone, in the straw zone. Disgusting. Disgusting. I believe I hit him with color. Yes, I did. I'm not really sure. I want to keep 
is the color. Might adjust it. If I so insult him enough times, he won't know I like him. I think I'm gonna try to finish his hair and then call it for stream.
Wow! How about that? <coughs> Hate this guy. Hate his guts. Definitely do not love him with all my heart. Finished his hair. So let's let's uh, start winding down. Yes, Sir Derry. He does not need the inflated ego of knowing that I love him. His ego is inflated enough. Okay. Let's switch. Puts me back in my chair. Back in my chair. Is it close? There we go. Alright. I'd like to thank everybody for coming. Helped me a lot with focusing on this piece because I do indeed love Strahd very much to an excessive amount. So I'm like. A bit too in my head about the details, so chugging through it. I think I can actually finish this tonight, so we'll see. Um, we're gonna raid more Dragon. He's really cool. He's the one who made my model. everybody for coming. Everybody to share your eating, your hydrating, your stretching. Posture check. Take care of yourself or else. I love you all. Hail Satan. Good evening. Oh God. <laughs>